Hi guys, my name is Basil Rose, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Discord of Amori. We're going to be looking at the conflicts that have arisen within the community. If you're a fan of Amori, or you're just curious about how online communities work, make sure you stick through the entire video. This one's for you. Let's get right into it. I want to start out this video by saying I did not make this a video to bring negative attention to the people who made these comments or made these discord messages. If you go and attack them, I do not condone it whatsoever. Do not do that at all. Please and thank you. With that being said, let's look at the background of Mori and communities in general. Amori is a role-playing RPG maker game that has captured the hearts of many players with its amazing art style and its great characters. But the Discord server is the main hub for the community. In this Discord server, they can share memes, talk about the game, talk about even mods about the game, which is amazing. Not a lot of Discord servers have that. But unfortunately, as with many online communities, conflicts are inevitable. In the Amori Discord, disagreements have plagued the entirety of every single channel over various topics such as characters, stupid things such as how you should treat a teacher, and conflicts sometimes escalate to heated debates that include personal attacks, which is just not okay. The fighting within the Amori community has had a significant impact on the Discord server. Some people have chosen to leave the server due to the negativity and other people have chosen to be a little bit more cautious about engaging in discussions. This has led to a slight but very noticeable shift in discussion of the server. While we do have the mods constantly moderating, keeping these arguments from getting too bad or too personal, it still happens. And it's not the mods fault, sometimes it is completely unavoidable. But we can all make an effort as a community to stop these silly little arguments and to just try to be better people in general. Let's talk about the community initiatives. What can the community do to help this? Despite the conflicts, it's important to highlight that there have been numerous community initiatives in the fostering unity and understanding within the Amori Discord. There has been many art showcases, and there's a lot of character appreciation days. You know, I've showcased a few of them on my channel, such as Mari Monday, Hero Tuesday, Stranger Saturday, etc, etc. Those are just some that I can name off the top of my head. And I will say, Amori is not a bad community at all. Amori is so accepting of everybody, and it truly, truly shows. But I want this community to be the best it can be. The conflicts within the Amori Discord community have also provided opportunities for learning and personal growth, though. Many members realize the importance of empathy and open-mindedness. Now, me personally, when I was a younger kid, I used to have massive anger problems and a severe lack of empathy. But it just took me to step back and just to realize what I'm saying can actually affect other people and hurt other people around me and maybe close to me. So I just decided to take steps toward becoming a better and nicer person. And that's what these arguments have done for many people. There are always upsides, there's always a silver lining to a stormy day, and I think these arguments can be learned from. Everybody makes mistakes. Just make sure you learn from those mistakes. As the Amori Discord community moves forward, I think it's very important to continue fostering this community of acceptance, respect, and constructive criticism. Now, my community is amazing, I will say. I just wanted to say, try to stay nice to each other and respectful. My main message of this channel is positivity, and I want, I want everybody to know that they are cared about. I read every single one of your comments. Trust me, if you think I'm not reading them, I'm definitely reading them. Just remember to stay nice and respectful. But wrapping this up now, online communities can sometimes be a breeding ground for disagreements. It's important to remember that there are spaces of connection, creativity, and growth. We have to make sure to learn from our conflicts rather than let them tear us apart. That's about it. My name is Basil Rose, 
stay respectful out there, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.